Welcome to the channel guys. Just a quick video about my uh, situation of trying to get this leak to stop in this bathroom faucet. I want to give a quick shout out to Ben, longtime follower, subscriber to my channel and fellow taco owner. Appreciate you giving me this tip how to get this darn faucet off. I actually posted this a while back asking for help and he did a lot of help to show me how to get this thing off because it was a mystery. I do a lot of DIYs, but I'm telling you, this was a mystery. So let's go to what I had to do. First of all, please, please know where to turn off your main water. If you don't, you're going to have a problem just like this. So let's please make sure you turn off the water main. Okay, thank you. So the next thing I did, you can see here, I'm starting to take apart the faucet. It can vary. This Kohler model can vary but um, you're just gonna step by step look for your screws and bolts and start unbolting it. All right, there's two main components that are necessary in the Kohler unit. One is called the mixer cap, which I'm removing here, and the other is called a pressure balancing cartridge. At first, I thought the issue was the pressure balancing cartridge, so I actually went ahead and replaced it. Um, I used silicone grease as recommended. Silicone grease doesn't dissolve with water, and that's the reason why I used that. That's the same stuff you use in brake grease for your car, by the way. And unfortunately, the leak still continued, so I thought it was the mixture cap. That's the first main plastic part that was removed in the video. When I put everything back and tested it, there was still that leak. That drip did not change. So it made me think, what is going on? I actually went back. I used the same original cartridge. Now, the cartridge I had was actually discontinued. And a lot of people actually like that old cartridge versus the new cartridge. So possibly it just was not compatible. I'm not sure. Or I just had a, a defective unit, which can happen. But when I replaced that cartridge and finally just changed the mixture cap, it was fine. But I think the moral of the story is it could be either or or both. There's actually kits that sell both. So I want to give a shout out to Ben again for really helping me out, trying to get the handle out, which was like the biggest obstacle during this uh, change. And I also want to say thanks to my family for their support. And also your support for continuously watching my videos, subscribing, liking, and all those positive comments and feedback. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out.